I don't think it's dirty head at all. You know, I'm, I'm not blaming him. It's part of the game. I moved on. You know, it, it happened so fast. Anyways, it was you know it was a blurry two weeks. Um, I don't think about it much. You know, I'm just moving forward. I like where I'm at. You know, I'm I'm where I need to be. I would say that. You know, the biggest thing for me is getting better every day. I would say it does help just knowing how to attack it mentally and knowing, you know, I might not be at a certain point where through through the rehab process that I want to be, but I know, you know, it's taking a day by day and the weeks add up and the months add up and eventually I'll get to where I want to be. Definitely a blessing. You know, they could have just cut me dry and left me hanging right, you know, but they did a great job. You know, um, I want to be here in Cleveland. They know that. Um, so we came to a, you know, a great point. Yeah, it was tough. You know, it's. It's always hard not being able to, you know, to play the game with your guys who you go through camp with, uh, spring with. But, I mean, uh, our team did a great job of, you know, no matter who was down, next man up and continue to play. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we'll see. You know, it's not my first time going through this. So, I've been through it before. But, you know, my whole goal is to get back out there. I use that as motivation. You know, I see everything. I've seen, you know, it's not the first time someone has counted me out. So, I've been here before and, you know, I'm just, I'm not really paying much attention to it. But I do see it and I'm just focusing on getting getting better. Yeah, it was special. You know, um, the team did a great job of being there for me. I, I was down, you know, mentally for for a while. Just when when you, when you get hurt, I mean, it's one thing. When you get hurt again, and you already know what you got to go through the entire process, surgery, rehab. You know, it's a nonstop battle every day. You know, um, so my team did a great job just being there for me. You know, I was around the building for them, and you know, did a great job, made the playoffs, had a great run. The debate raged on for weeks after Browns running back Nick Chubb suffered a season-ending left knee injury when Cleveland played the Pittsburgh Steelers in week two. Analysts and fans around the country discussed Steelers' safety. Minka Fitzpatrick's hit on Chubb, a direct shot to his knee with his helmet, with some accusing the Pittsburgh player of a dirty hit on the running back. For the first time since the injury, Chubb addressed the media after the Browns' ninth OTA practice. In a video shared by analyst Daryl Reuter, Chubb gave an honest answer about the hit that ended his season and caused a second major injury in his left leg. I don't think it was a dirty hit at all. I'm not blaming him, Chubb said about the week two play involving Fitzpatrick. Chubb said that the hit below to his knee was a part of the game, admitting he had moved on from the incident now. The running back added that the hit occurred quickly and the following two weeks were blurry, Chubb said. Chubb has spent several months rehabbing the injury, preparing to play again during the 2024 NFL regular season. Later in the video, Chubb explained that he was happy with where he stood in the recovery process, noting he was where I need to be. The injury was the second for Chubb's left knee, as the running back previously experienced this during his college career at Georgia. Chubb returned from that 2015 injury to rush for more than 1,100 yards and notch his highest rush attempt mark in college in 2016. 